There's giant squid with tentacles. They're like 20 bajillion feet long. I wish I could go to the ocean with the fish and sing with the mermaids. Brianna, we can't go in the ocean because we can't breathe underwater. You just wait. Oh no. Not again. Nick, is this a giant octopus? Oh, uh, Brianna, there is a giant octopus behind you. Oh, oh. oh, it's fake. Calm down, Nick. I know you're really nervous. It's okay, it's all over your face. Bri, I'm not nervous. This yes, is really cool. We're at an aquarium, but I don't really remember how we got here. I know we were reading a book about the ocean, but how did this just happen? Do you think Preston did something again and trapped us? Preston is always to blame. He always sends us really cool places, but like, how does he have these magical powers? I don't know, Brianna, but if we have cool stuff like this octopus arm, I mean, look at this. This is like a real live octopus. Yeah, look, this is like the real suction cup thingies. Like, he won't let me go like that. Oh, I'm safe. I'm gonna be honest. I feel like we should just take a look around and worst okay. case, we're trapped in a really cool place. But yeah. maybe we can learn some stuff and also maybe we can figure out how we can get out of here. I mean, do we have to look for keys again? Probably. And I will let you know a little secret about myself. My favorite movie growing up when I was little was The Little Mermaid, so I probably know how to speak to fish. Yeah, I know how to speak to fish. I don't know about you. Brianna, this is the coral reef exhibit. It's so cool. Look how colorful it is. It is like neon in here, and I feel like I just watched a fish eat something. Well, yeah, there's probably food. Oh. I mean, they're hungry, Brianna, and you know what? I'm kind of hungry too. When are we ordering that pizza? Well, if maybe if we try to talk to them, they'll let us in, and they'll tell us the secret about how to get home. 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 It's not working. Maybe you have to be underwater. That's probably why it's not working, Bree. And there's no way to get in because there's a bunch of glass here. Well, I will let you know that a couple of these are like button polyp things and lace coral. And apparently you can make dresses with what's under here. There's a lot of stuff going on under here. Who knew? I gotta be honest. I don't think you know that much about these animals. How are we gonna get out if you don't even know what these animals are called? I knew more than you did. You didn't know those names. Don't question me. I'm, I'm gonna explore some more. Nick, who knew jelly came from a fish? No, Bree, that's just their name. They don't make jelly. Is there a peanut butter fish? Probably. I just haven't found it yet. That's true, this is a big place. I don't know if we're ever gonna get out of here, Brie. That's right, we're literally trapped in this place. I haven't found my key yet. There's for sure a key in here somewhere. You know, Brie, Preston's kind of nice for trapping us in such cool places. The first time we were trapped in a candy museum, yeah. and this time we're in an aquarium with all these cool fishies. I like it, maybe we'll just stay here. Well, again, but we have to figure out the pizza situation. I can't stay here if we don't have enough pizza every day come Coming in. Fish eat fish food, Nick eats Nick food. Maybe we should try the fish food and see if we like it. Yeah. You never know until you try. I really like these. I think they're my favorite so far because they look like they're glowing in the dark and I think he likes me too. Dave, what are you doing here? Brianna, well, you know, I'm standing here checking out this uh, exhibit behind me, and I don't think most people realize that everything that we do affects other living things. You know, we use these things around rivers and waters every day, but the waters that we all are, are surrounded by actually flow right down into the Gulf of Mexico, which is gonna affect some of my favorite animals, like dolphins and sharks and turtles. Yeah, so it's really important for people to, in their everyday life, do little things. You know, pick up after yourselves, never drop pollution or, or drop trash or anything like that into the water because it's gonna flow down. And as a matter of fact, you know, here at the uh, aquarium, they do something really cool. They actually go down to the Gulf of Mexico and they help pick up a lot of the trash that flows down to the rivers, which ends up helping all sorts of animals. Ooh, I like that. This aquarium is an amazing place and it's a, there's a lot to see around here but you know I think that maybe you might be trying to find your way wait I need to ask Dave where to get the rest of the keys wait Dave Dave I don't know where he went Dave 
Ooh, a shark. <gasps> Nick! I saw this thing when we went to Area 51. It's an alien. Wait, that's not an alien. That's a <gasps> oh my ray eel. He's looking at me. He's looking at me some sort of way. He knows how to get home. He has a secret. Well, I don't see Dave anywhere with the second key, and obviously we need three because three is the magic number always. Let's ask him and maybe he knows where to go. Do you speak eel? Uh, excuse me, Mr. Eel. Well, that wasn't very helpful at all. Wait, I think I have one more idea of where Dave might be. Oh, good. Dave knows how to get out of here, and he knows so much about animals, too. I know. It's impressive. Let's go this way. I have found the fish with all the answers. Where is it, Bree? Is it in the tank? Right here. Bree, this fish doesn't even look like he knows how to talk. How is he going to tell us how to get out? His eyes are so big because he's obviously seen Dave with the next key. Wait, his eyes? Yeah. Bree, are you talking about those little black dots on the back of his head? He's obviously seen Dave. His eyeballs are huge. Ah, <sighs> Brianna, even I know those are not real eyes. Those are like fake eyes. They like pretend camouflage to trick people. And look, he tricked you. Oh, it did work. Well, let's keep looking around. We still haven't found any way to get out of here, Nick. Oh, but we found a lot of cool fishies. That's true. We can't lose hope. Let's keep going. Dave, you left out of nowhere. I just got distracted by these beautiful fish. You know, they look like they should be in the middle of like the Pacific Ocean or something. They but do. these are cichlids, and they are actually found in one of the largest freshwater lakes in the world. They're absolutely beautiful. Yeah, everybody, when they think of African wildlife, they think of the big five. They think of water buffalo and rhinos and elephants. But these are really awesome fish. I would love to go diving and check out these guys in Lake Victoria in Africa. This is really cool, Dave, but where's Nemo? I don't see him anywhere. Dave? Nick, look who I found. It's Preston. Brianna, that's not nice. This doesn't look like Preston. Oh, well, actually, it kind of does look like Preston. It has the same color eyes yeah. and a really big mouth. Oh, oh, he heard us. Well, he calls me Big Chungus all the time, so I mean, same thing. Fair is fair, and honestly, the more I look at them... They're twins. Yeah, they're actual twins. Enough. I found cute baby sea turtles, and I'm really shocked. I thought Dave would be here. I know he loves sea turtles. Look how cute they are. I do love sea turtles. I knew it. You know, this is a really great exhibit that shows how the mother lays her eggs underneath the sand and covers them up to hide the babies so that predators don't find them. As a matter of fact, if you uh, turn that little wheel there, I think you'll see a little action. The turtles actually have to dig themselves out. So they break out of their own eggs and they have to dig their way out of the sand up to the surface. And that is the most dangerous time in a sea turtle's life. They have to make it from the shore all the way out into the water. And you know, it's very rare that uh, naturally they would make it without a predator um, actually getting a hold of them. But uh, there's a great organization called Sea Turtle Inc. that the Children's Aquarium here at Fair Park works with. So they don't, don't just clean up the beaches, but they also help the turtles make it from the nests on land out into the water. That's awesome. It is. Yeah. Hey, huh. you know, I've been walking around here and I keep finding things laying around that might help you along the way. My second key! But wait, I forgot to ask Dave, what about Dave? Dave, what are you doing at the tidal pool? Well, I wanted to come over and see these amazing animals. You know, I don't think a lot of people realize that the urchins and starfish are animals. Some people, I think, just think they're rocks or something. I mean, it kind of looks like a rock. It does. You know, those are actually little spines that they use to flatten themselves out and they can kind of pull themselves in and hide in things like coral. Tidal pools and coral reefs are some of the most important habitats on the planet. Over 25% of all marine species on the planet are found found in tidal pools and coral reefs. There's 500 million people around the world that depend on coral reefs in order to protect our shorelines. Oh, wow. So, you know, getting up close and realizing that these are living, breathing creatures. Here, reach down and touch this. That one there, that's a chocolate chip sea star. Don't eat it. Oh, it's not I'm actually tempted, made of chocolate. But... <gasps> oh. Now, if we were to sit here long enough, you might actually see him climb right up and out of that bowl. It'll take a while. They don't move fast because speed is not always to your benefit. If you're moving, well, then you might draw attention to yourself. Kind of like this guy over here. That's a big crab? That is a lobster. These animals are so cool and different. 
They're different and amazing, and that's what the, makes the world such an interesting, beautiful place to live. And it's also why it's so important to, you know, come and explore and learn about these animals and how they're built and what they do that's important so that we care about them and want to do things to help protect them and the places that they live. Wow, Dave, this is so incredible. I even see the starfish. It has, like, hairs on the bottom of his leg, and he's, like, moving out of the side of this bowl, and I didn't even know a starfish could move. I always thought they just, like, had poses, and then they, like, just stuck on the wall and like they didn't even move and they just went like like Patrick and Spongebob and like they didn't even do anything and Dave I thought my conversation was interesting I'll find him later Nick I found a friend if I'm stuck here we can hang out Bree you can't hang out with a shark well he looks really cool but I mean does a shark have a key do you see a key in his tank I feel like a shark would eat a key um maybe she is the key Bree we can't take a shark and use that to go home I don't even think a shark is allowed on the highway I've never tried it before look at her she's so cute she's coming up to say hello oh she's shy you embarrassed her Nick Bree you embarrassed I her I'm sorry I just want to find the next key so that we can go home and get really good pizza. You need to stop talking about pizza in front of the fish. We don't know when they ate last. Well, they didn't eat any of my pizza. Speaking of eating, I wonder if we can feed fish. We should try. There's probably a spot where we can feed the fish. We should go to that one next. Yeah, let's go. Nick. Yeah, I Brie? I should look behind me, should I? Um, there's something coming behind you. It's, is it a snake? It, it's kind of like a snake. I'm actually not sure, Bree. It says up on the board that this is an electric eel. Good. I really need to charge my cell phone. No, so. Bree. This is an electric eel that lives in the water. Yeah, see how big they are? They look like little snakes. He doesn't have a phone charger with him? No, Bree. Why would the fish have phone chargers? But we should ask them the important questions. Do you guys know where to get pizza? Oh my goodness, you and your pizza. The important thing is finding Dave in the last clue. And I feel like it's this way. Oh, okay. This way. Nick, I found how to go outside and look! You can touch stingrays. I don't believe this. This is literally like my size hand. Bree, maybe they're talking about touching the sign. Let's not get our hopes up. Touching a stingray, I've never done that before. Don't get my hopes crushed. I'm gonna go check. Have some faith, Nick. Nick, guess what? Bree, where did you go? I found actual stingray food. Wait, stingray food? Do they eat pizza like I do? Yeah, no. Ew. They actually eat other fishies. Well, little tiny fishies, but look, Bree, the stingrays are so excited to get fed, they're like jumping out of the water. They're really excited that I'm here. It has nothing to do with the food. Are you ready to feed them? Yes, yes, I want to see you feed one. Look, they're hungry. They want food for me. Sorry, I don't have any little fishies. Nick, I'm a little nervous. I've never done this before. I don't think I'm doing it right. I'm soaked. <laughs> I'm soaked at the aquarium and I'm not having fun. Nick, they want more. Nick, I just got finished feeding all the stingrays and that was super fun, but now I feel like I should move on to the next animal. I think it's the sharks. They're right yeah. there. Well, we're gonna look, but there's already somebody over there by the sharks, Brianna. Oh. Well, I still want to go see them. Okay, well, let's just wait till they're done. I mean, they shouldn't be too long. Actually, wait a second. Does that hat look familiar to you? It looks like Dave. How did he beat us to the shark aquarium? He has to have the third key home. <gasps> this is it. Maybe the key was to feed the stingrays. Thanks, buddy. Bye, buddy. They're like little dogs. I love them. Dave, are these great white sharks? You know, they do look a little bit like great white sharks up close, but believe it or not, these are black tip sharks, and that shark that just swam by us right now is about the size of you. You could what? be a black tip shark. What I've always wanted. <laughs> You know, when I was growing up, I was kind of taught to be afraid of sharks. Yeah? Yeah, I, I saw this one movie that involved a, a fish with really powerful jaws. I can't remember the name of that movie, but it was pretty scary. Mm. I was so terrified to get in the water. But you know, now we know that anywhere you travel around the world, there are sharks within 100 yards of shore everywhere you go around the world. But you very rarely ever hear about anything negative about sharks and humans, and when it does happen, it's 
always mistake an identity. They mistake us for their prey. Oh, like I look like a fish? Well, you might look like a sea lion or a seal when you're on a surfboard, oh. right? When we're splashed around at the surface. The biggest experience that people should take away from the Children's Aquarium at Fair Park here is that get up close and learn to appreciate these animals. Everything that we do has an effect on the world around us. And you know what? Hmm. I think that the key to survival <gasps> is us learning about these amazing animals and learning to appreciate them and doing what little we can to help protect them. I like that idea. Oh my gosh. This is the third key. This is how I normally get home. Wait, oh my gosh. Do you feel that? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Nick, Brianna, what just happened? We made it back, we must have found all three keys. Well, I don't feel like I need this book anymore. Eloise, what do you need? Oh, a medium pizza shirt from PrestonStyles.com. <laughs> <laughs>